Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make some delicious roll tacos with guacamole and shredded cheese. In case you guys want to help make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for this recipe we're going to need 2 pounds of chuck tender roast, a half of a small white onion, 3 garlic cloves, 2 bay leaves, 2 teaspoons of margarine, corn tortillas, corn oil, finely shredded medium cheddar cheese, for our guacamole, we're going to need two large avocados, a half of a small white onion finely chopped, one small Roma tomato finely chopped, one jalapeno or chile serrano finely chopped, cilantro, a half of a lime, one teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of garlic salt. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. Alrighty guys, so first we're going to start by cooking our meat. So in a small pot or Dutch oven, we're going to set it on high heat. We're going to place our meat, and I cut it into three thick pieces. We're going to cover our meat with water. And to that we're going to add our half an onion, three garlic cloves, two bay leaves, and salt. And the salt is going to be up to your liking. So we're just going to wait for that to come to a boil and then we can continue cooking it. Alright, so once it begins to boil, we're going to skim the top off. So just remove all that. Alright, so once we have removed all of the imperfections of our meat, now we're going to reduce the heat to medium-low. So we're going to add our margarine. And now we're going to cover it and let that cook for about two to three hours. All right guys, so it's been two hours and a half. By this time, our meat should be fully cooked. So make sure that you check it, as you can see, super tender. So now we're just going to turn it off and we're going to remove it from the broth so we can shred it. it smells delicious. All right, so you can shred your meat using two forks or you can throw it in your mixer, whatever's easier for you. Um, just make sure that it is finely shredded though. I like to get rid of the little pieces of fat, so that's why I like doing it with my hands. The meat is super tender, so it should fall apart very easy. All right, guys, so once we have our meat all nicely shredded, now we can make our guacamole and shred our cheese. All right, you guys, so we're going to make our guacamole. And for that, we're going to transfer our avocados into a bowl. Get the pit out. They're a little ugly, but... Okay. We're going to squeeze out our lime juice. Smash the avocado. So you just smash it. All right, so once we smash down our avocado, now we're going to transfer our onion, tomato, um, jalapeno, and cilantro. So already got them all nicely chopped. Here's our onion. And of course, if you don't like something, you can always remove it. All right, so we're going to add our one teaspoon of black pepper and one teaspoon of garlic salt. And now just combine everything. Looks so pretty. All right, so once we have our guacamole, we're going to place it in the refrigerator. So like that, it's nice and cool once we are ready to use it. All right, so now we're just going to shred our cheese. And this is how you want it, so make sure it's finely shredded. Okay. All right, so once we have our cheese finely shredded, now we are ready to get our oil ready and prepare our tacos. All right, so we're going to grab our pan. We're going to set it on medium heat. We're going to add our oil. And I'm gonna use about two cups. And we're just going to wait for that to heat up. All right, so I added another cup of oil and meanwhile, while we wait for our oil to heat up, we're going to start and warm up our tortillas. So I just place them in a Ziploc bag and I'm going to place them in the microwave for one minute. Or you can use your comal. 
All right, so after you pull your tortillas out of the microwave, they should be nice and soft. And if you fold them, as you can see, they don't break. So that's important. So like that, when you roll your taquitos, um, they don't start cracking and then, yeah, you have a mess. So now we are ready to make a roll tacos. All right, so grab your tortilla, your meat. Make sure that it is spread evenly. And now start rolling. Okay, so once you have it, we're going to throw it in, in the oil. So make sure that when you place your roll taco in the oil, make sure that the fold is facing down. So just place it down, hold it for a little bit, and then we're just going to repeat the process to all of our tortillas. So you can use your tongue so like that you don't burn your fingers. Hold it down for a few seconds until it seals so like that your taquito doesn't unwrap. All right, so once your taquitos are nice and hard, so we're just going to remove them from the oil. Drain as much oil as you can. And place them, place them on a cooling rack. So just repeat the process. All right, so make sure that you add your shredded cheese on top of your hot rolled tacos. So like that, it gives the cheese time to melt. And I love cheese, so for me, the more the better. But of course, it's going to be all optional, all up to you. Okay. And after that, they're ready to be served and being enjoyed. Alrighty guys, and now for the fun part, dressing our tacos. So we're just going to top them with our guacamole. And add a good amount. And I'm just going to add some more cheese. And of course you can dress them with whatever you want, but for me these tacos are perfect with just the cheese and the guacamole. And then of course grab your salsa. Okay, so grab your salsa. Add some more green. All right, guys, so now we are ready to enjoy our delicious beef roll tacos. All right, guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. And I like going for the middle. The cheese. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Mmm. Seriously? super delicious these tacos are just perfect with the cheese and the guacamole that's it so good so flavorful hope, hope you give it a try Alrighty guys, and there you have it and how I make some delicious shredded beef roll tacos. I hope you guys enjoyed you watching this video and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and if you ever create this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh,